Two pumpkins. Today, iced pumpkin spice latte. Okay, so first pumpkin spice of the season. He's so cute. He needs a home just because he doesn't have an eye. Fall and Christmas creatures that are broken, but you know what? We're all kind of broken inside, so. Is that fun? I'm more, I'm more. Hey, Starbucks. My name is Ella. How can I help you today? May I do a grande uh, kiwi star fruit refreshment? Would you like that with or without lemonade? With lemonade. With lemonade. And then can I do a grande iced pumpkin spice latte? Grande iced pumpkin spice. And then a pumpkin loaf. Would you like that warmed up? Um, sure. out the window. Thank you. Thanks. What'd you got? Pumpkin loaf? Really pumpkin loaf? Let's see if I can fix this angle. what the series is already called, I thought. I forgot, because I only watched it that one time. <laughs> Anyways, I'll watch my video that I'm watching. 
Okay, so first pumpkin spice of the season. That means it's official. The holiday season is upon us. Let's go to a car show. It was really nice out. It was overcast, so it wasn't too hot. And it was fun. We had a lot of cars there this time. We've been a few times before. And then we went to Starbucks and got our pumpkin spice and our pumpkin loaf. And I think we're going to have lunch in a minute and then we're going to do some fall decorating. I ate that. I did hear that. What did you do? <laughs> Are you... <laughs> Okay, welcome back to the next day. I got caught up after I got lunch set for everyone. I got caught up doing some deep Sunday cleaning to get our house all set for the week. And I just kind of forgot about vlogging. So here we are, it's the next day. I didn't decorate yesterday because I wanted to have a nice clean home and I was just in the groove to clean. You know, sometimes you just do the dishes and then next thing you know, you're washing the windows. I don't, I don't know how it happens, but <laughs> like 10 hours later, you're scrubbing your bathroom tile. I'm here today. Alan got down the fall decor totes, as you saw, and some of them were obviously not labeled correctly. I don't know what happened to me last year. I think what we did was pull down all of our bins for the entire season and I just didn't organize things when I put them back in there. Last year was such a holiday flop in terms of decorating our home. It was really difficult to get into the spirit just because of the way of the world. And I think we got our decor down the week or two before <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> uh, but I obviously somehow completely unorganized our bin. So one thing I did learn is from last year and going into the season, I think I'm going to do things differently since I've been on a decluttering life adventure. I think I'm going to declutter my holiday decor as I pull it out of the bins and before I decorate. I just have like a separate pile as I go through the bins and go, oh, you know what? I didn't use this the last few years. Not gonna use it probably ever again, let's be real, and just go ahead and declutter it now versus doing that after the holidays because for some reason that just doesn't work out for me. We're always in a rush to just get it back up into our attic. So that is what we're going to do. I pulled out this little guy. I don't know if he is like a fox or a beaver or what, but he is so cute and I saw him in my bins and I was like, oh, I missed you. He's so adorable. And when I used to go out shopping in the world, which I don't do anymore. Anytime I would see a cute little holiday creature that was broken and on super clearance because they were broken, I had to get them because they're so adorable. This guy's missing his eye, but he's so cute. He needs a home just because he doesn't have an eye. He needed to come home with me and so you'll probably see I have a few little cute little fall and Christmas creatures that are broken but you know what we're all kind of broken inside so kind of just a perfect match I love him so much anyways let's get to decluttering and decorating <laughs>
probably some of my favorite pieces. I have Raven's Brew, tabletop decor, with what I would like to think is his little friend, and he has like this cute hat on, like he's also royalty. Uh, and I love that this velvet bow on here ties in with my favorite pumpkin, which is this burgundy velvet. The camera's not doing it justice. Super pretty. And I love pairing different textures together. So I have that velvet texture with this le layered leaf pumpkin. And it has the pine cones. And then I have this cream and gold pumpkin. These are just probably my favorite autumn decor items. I always use them as a centerpiece on my, on my table, which you'll see later. The other two things that you'll see I really love, and you'll see a theme throughout my collection, is I really love vintage holiday decor, and I love little creatures, and just kind of having a wilderness filled home during the holidays. And so I started this collection of creatures a couple, like maybe a few years ago, like before Soren was born. And then my, they started to become rather popular in stores. And I lucked out, I think in 2019 is when I bought uh, quite a few of these. And that's why they still have their tags on them because they didn't even make them out into our home for the holiday that year last year because like I said uh, we did not decorate um, very much last year so they'll be making their debut in our home I remember very vividly buying these because Bass Pro Shop is one of the very few places Alan and I got to go uh, once we had Soren, we went to dinner for Alan's birthday, and then we went out to Bass Pro Shop, and apparently came home with some Christmas decor, but just a fun little memory. But yeah, I can't wait to get these guys out this year, um, and I think Soren's going to have so much fun seeing these and probably playing with them, let's be real. <laughs> twist tie that was on the edge of this uh, decor. I guess I just never took the uh, price tag off of it, so I just took it off. I'm going to try twisting it around these two leaves and then trying to fasten it on the edge there. It's like a, a quick fix. We'll see if we can just make it work. Okay, so that was a super quick fix because there was like a little loop, kind of like this one has, on the edge and um, I just stuck the twist tie through there and one of the leaves is kind of covering it so you can't even tell, so that was super easy. I was going to add this one on but this vine is more green and that one is more brown. Just didn't look right. I'll probably use this on, on another door hang, maybe our entryway. But um, I think I might add some lights up there. I have some orange lights, so we'll try that and see. Summer is ended. The leaves are turning 
brown. Okay, let's do a quick fall decor haul. And this is not the haul where I went and bought stuff. This is just what I use year after year because we don't go shopping anymore. <laughs> and I mean that in like the best way possible. I love, I love not to shop anymore. It's my favorite thing to just love what I already own. So I have some foliage stuff here. And as you can see, some of this I've... <laughs> I either just leave the tag on because I don't know what's wrong with me or I just don't use it. So I'm either going to use it this year or give it to somebody who will. Um, so I have a couple pieces of that. I have some like random decor. I really love vintage holiday decor items. Um, and so like, look, this is from the rag shop. Do they even have rag shops anymore? these are so cute i don't i really would hate to open this this is so adorable and just vintage vibes um but it needs to live its life outside of the package i have to open it this year i know this is a halloween item but look how cute this cat and pumpkin is i'm just gonna go ahead and put them out early because i love him and that'll only be the one halloween item i'll put out now i swear this is a container <laughs> I don't I've every year I have no idea what I'm going to use it for I can't find a use for it so I will be donating it this year um, I have some lights that I do like to use window gel sticker Soren loves doing these so I'll, we'll put those up I have an orange set of lights indoor outdoor I have this tablecloth that I was on like a really I loved gray <laughs> But I don't love, I have never have liked this and I bought it a couple years ago and I've used it every year since I bought it, but I don't love it. So I'll be donating that and using a tablecloth I actually like. I don't know what was wrong with my decision making there. This is a cute little pumpkin pillow my mom gave me. Um, hi. Hi. Um, more window clings. Soren loves those. Oh, pro tip. So I found these. These are my holiday cards that I send out to family and friends. And what I do is I'll buy them at the end of the year when they go on sale. And then stash them and then send them out next year. I just have to remember who I sent what card to so they don't get the same card two years in a row. But the pro tip is to stash them in with your autumn decor because I was like, what is that doing in here? And then I remembered I'm kind of a genius. I put them in here on purpose so that I could fill them out early and send out my cards on time. Like I know what I'm doing with my life. So thank you, past Sarah. You are amazing. This giant pumpkin, one of my favorite things. I mean, it looks kind of real to me and Soren loves it. He played with it last year. I have some cute pictures and videos with him. I have to go through all this. This is all my placemats, all like my soft goods, um, table runners. I have to see what I'm keeping and what I'm not because there's obviously a mod podge of like super colorful stuff and then more um, neutral tone stuff, which I kind of gravitate towards more now. So kind of have to go through a few more things, but that is my decor haul for now. What is that? Do you remember that pumpkin from last year? <laughs> Is it heavy? Heavy! Two pumpkins. Happy Halloween! Happy holidays! Can you say happy fall? Happy fall! Happy fall! Good job! Summer is ended, the leaves are turning brown.
comes too soon Autumn comes too soon The light that flickers Will blow away the sight And all that blossomed Will wither away and die Not now Just yeah, I'm not ready for autumn. Autumn comes to Well, let me know, have you started decorating for autumn yet? Do you jump right into Halloween and Christmas decor straight out of the gate, or do you wait and do it in phases like I do? I'm excited. My favorite time of year, it's fall, it's autumn. I feel like I'm my final form. Anyways, take care, stay well, and I will see you next week. Bye! Autumn.